2,000 yards here. Okay, this is good enough. Let's, uh, let's shoot. Maybe I should just shut it down and get closer. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh my god, what's going on with the game? I saw that that conversation. That was TMI. That's <laughs> what that was. Okay, that was a pause menu thing. It's all gone now. now. This torpedo's telling me now it doesn't have enough juice to catch up. It had enough at launch. Uh, I... There... Is there a way to shut this down? Activate. Cut wire does not shut it down. Edit waypoint. Load tube. Next tube. Fire tube. I don't think there's a way to shut torpedoes down. Part of me wants to shut it down and try and catch up for a closer shot. But we're gonna go with it. Maybe I'll just speed up some time. I mean, it's it's catching up at, at two knots, for Christ's sake. I could pass the damn thing. Set as packed passive activate dive to implosion. Sounds as good as anything. <clears throat> Nose dive. Roadhouse. Thank you, Spraz. Oh, I finally saw Top Gun Maverick as well. <laughs> Took a while. But I saw it. Okay, let's get cranking. Let's not cavitate, first of all. One, five, not maneuvering eye. Make depth four, zero, zero, feet, dive eye. I'm trying to get a sense of like when we get in the baffles of Sierra too. Okay, we can go a lot deeper than the skipjack in this thing. <laughs> feet. Not be skimpy then. I shouldn't cavitate at 20 knots at this step. Good. Con maneuvering, making turns for two. Oh my gosh, this guy turned. <laughs> Almost got hoid. 401 feet, 24 knots for no cavitation. Are the curves the same for every boat, or does it, does it change on a boat a boat basis? Con, dive at five zero zero feet. Dive by. Waste of the torpedo. Uh, the torpedo goes seventeen knots before it's activated. These Novembers are going fifteen knots. I got impatient. I want to get closer. <laughs> Is all it boils down to. We're, uh, I'm getting a I'm getting reaccustomed to how 68 works. Uh, trial by fire here. There's two models: the sucky one and the seal of one. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've played as Seawolf yet in these games. I feel like that would be so boring in the China campaign playing as a sea wolf. Make turns for two zero knots. 
I should be able to flank it without cavitating. Yeah. I'm not even losing track of the November at flank speed. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had like CPA and all that kind of stuff, point of closest approach. <laughs> Fun to use a god mode sub. Yeah. Sierra two. Last bearing three zero nine. Contact faded. Come left to two eight five. Helm I. Con helm steady course. Come right to two nine four. Helm I. Let's see if we can't pick up that Sierra two again. One. So I make turns for get a solution on that guy. Maneuvering I. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one zero knots. Reload, yes, Con good, sonar thank you. Regained contact on Sierra three bearing zero seven eight. Oh, should I increase the tube reload times? Yeah, it's back to two minutes. I can put that back to nine minutes. <laughs> Okay, we're still in Sierra 2 baffles. Two bay. <laughs> At least I don't have to worry about that 700 foot depth floor of the skipjack anymore. That's nice. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Yeah, I think we're fine with Sierra 2 for the moment. Let's just keep cranking. Yeah, sorry about the, the the platform reference. I forgot to move that before the stream. Uh, they got the Sturgeon max depth is 1320 feet. And I think they changed how test depth works in dot mod versus the stock game. Con sonar lost contact. But Sierra I can't two, recall numbers at the bearing, moment. Three, one, one, I think, okay, so they just give max depth in this game, like as a like crush depth and not test depth. Like the stock game. Someone listen to you <laughs> with the depth stuff. depth overrated isn't it, isn't it like supposed to be like uh, maybe this is all just like lore and legend are just passed down misconceptions but isn't it supposed to be like 
the depth you don't really go beyond unless it's like wartime or something. Yeah, they call it Max, so I'm just going to treat Max as Crush. Generally, don't go near it unless you just came out of the yards. Crush or Test? Well, obviously Crush. I assume you mean Test. Obviously not Crush, excuse me. <clears throat> See you later, Triple T. Thanks for stopping by. Did you possibly dodge all enemy torts by going deep enough? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend and I talked about this the other day. <laughs> I'm sometimes not the best at hints. Um, set 65. Max step 1312. Max step 1320. Probably not. I can probably not out-tie those torps. Tycosa says, no real reason to go to tests unless you want to just rack a bunch of people out and piss them off as you rig for deep submergence. Okay, you gotta change a bunch of things, turn a bunch of different knobs, set a bunch of different things. Make a dive slowly to test steps just to verify your stuff don't leak. Gotcha. Post a bunch of wash standards with flashlights. Oh, okay, looking for leaks. <clears throat> so you can I can already see the difference between I already knew the difference, but it's it's evidenced between eighty four and sixty eight campaign. ASW missions. This is going to take like all stream just about this one ASW mission. Okay, let's see where CR2 is at. Make turns for one, zero, then some nine, righteous I. some righteous catching up. While well, this guy's just uh, joyriding. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2 bearing 3. Con maneuvering making turns for one zero knots. <laughs> oh yeah, full cold waters by surface and I never I was always too conservative to to play that. It's always seemed too sketchy to me. <laughs> Ring up a flank belt, test the chicken switches, and try and set an altitude record. That one gif of the LA emergency blow, and that thing frickin' that thing caught some air. I don't know if that's considered a lot or upper end or middle of the road, but that thing caught some air in that gif. Yeah, it seems very sketchy for those torps. You can feel it. <laughs> I heard it was much... I heard that the uh, emergency blow is, like, uh, more gradual as opposed to, like, a slam. But just what I read. The max difficulty. Yeah, well, the max difficulty, yeah, it's like negative handicap. Okay, Sierra 2. I don't think we're getting a solution on that guy anytime soon. How's the uh, torpedo looking on this guy? Okay, we've just gotten. I'm gonna. I, I wanna get much closer than this. So let's keep going. Crank that reactor. I don't have much, ex no, I don't want to say I don't have much. I have no experience with reactor operations, um, but I would be curious to s just to learn about 
how much more quickly you can change power on a submarine reactor than like a power station reactor. It's obviously much quicker. Just be very curious to learn about it. Because from what I've heard, it's all still done by hand. Just crazy. Manually controlled reactors. <laughs> Just pull out the screwdriver. <laughs> Okay, we have not lost Sarah to it, Flank. Good. Ah, uh, we may lose it just yet, getting to 26 knots here. Let's just stay at 25 then. Make turn four, <laughs> Excuse two, me, it's good enough. Five, eye. Take off a knot to not lose Sarah to. You know, I think from a game perspective, like the uh, knowing how the enemy is hearing you numbers would make more sense if you were at like a 95% solution. Like right now, I shouldn't know if the Sierra, if how, because like the negative 50 implies, yeah, we're in like Sierra 2 baffles, but we don't know that because we don't know what its course is. So I think like from a game perspective, it would make more sense if you only have that data from like 95% solution territory. <clears throat> How close we gotta be to see the 3D model? Maybe that's close enough to shoot. Let's see if I can turn a little bit and try and get that Sierra 2 solution number to change a little here. Now oh, Sierra 1 is coming to starboard slightly. Now CR2 is not really budging. Come left to two seven one helm I. Con helm steady course. Like the mini mod that blocks out the SNS comp entirely. Yeah, I've, I've gotten used to it, <laughs> I'll say. found out. Son of a bitch. Con sonar. Yeah, alright, we're gonna, Sierra two. gonna take our shot on Sierra 1 here. And we're gonna turn it on, go passive.
<clears throat> Sierra One is changing course, but hasn't sped up yet. Maybe we can get this torp, this torp tomb in time here. Make turns for eight knots, maneuvering eye. Yeah, if I could go back, I would have shot at Sierra 2 earlier. Alter my course a bit. Yeah, sure. Come right to two, nine, two, helm I. Uh, I don't have any like positive confirmation, but I assume this torpedo is going full speed now that I've activated it. Just full speed is slow. <laughs> I want to try and make. Pause ID on that in inbound torpedo from Sierra Eight, Two. Three, there, five, can't nine, hear it. We'll see where it, where it, where it's at. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Con helm, steady course. Okay, well I can't hear it, so let's just stay freaking ten knots one. here. Uh, I'm gonna assume he like shot at me going flank. Maybe one, let's come across zero, more this right way. Two, three, three, zero, I'm trying to think about this the seeker cone of this thing. Mark 37 does not have full speed. That would imply it actually has speed. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's trying its best. We'll say that A for effort. Yes, I love how Sierra One's just like, oh, Sierra Two's ping, and why's that? Not gonna turn to clear the baffles, or even slow down. Still just la di da. Con helm, steady course. I wonder if I could just leave this this torp on the passive setting. You might be fine. I wouldn't trust it in real life, but it might be fine for the game. I'm just worried about this inbound torpedo that I cannot see on the map at all. Yeah, let's say it's uh, it's fine. We're gonna evade. Come right to. Make turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering up. Leave it passive. If it goes active, then November's running. Never gonna catch it. A flank. Major I don't think Sierra 2 is that far two, away. Six knots, maneuvering eye. Con helm, steady course. There you go. Wire break. <laughs> Have I checked out Stu's new mission for RA? RA. I have not, because I don't play RA anymore. <sighs> In terms of like, yeah, sub games like on stream is pretty much all only only time I play them these days. I don't have time to play it. Otherwise, oh, Torps just passed. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra Two. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra. Oh, two. another launch, lovely. Okay, Sierra One is still kind of thumb up his butt. I'm thinking we got a chance of getting Sierra One. At least a hit. 
I don't know how the game's gonna make it work in terms of damage, but I think we'll get at least a hit. Hopeful. Thumb, thumb open. Okay, CR2 is getting active returns on me. But I am not. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 2. Oh, CR2 is launching all this shit. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2, last bearing 3, 1, 1, contact faded. The dwarf horsefish is the slowest fish in the world, 5 foot an hour. Good god. Yeah, why is it called a horsefish? Horse are fast. It's really the dwarf snailfish. What what section of the ocean does that thing live in? Like, I'm assuming deep. Oh, seahorse, okay. <laughs> ah, November. Remember, remember the 5th of November. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that in like a Winston Churchill voice. Still faster than a Mark 37. Wow, wow. Come on, Mr. Mark 37. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 1, last bearing 2, 7, 9, contact faded. There was some set pinging at some point. Did it already pass on by? I feel like I haven't seen any pings for that thing in a while. Come left. CR2 launched a fresh round of inbounds, which I think are coming on my new course now. Coffee break. <laughs> Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Con helm. Oh, I can see torpedoes now. Okay. Couldn't see them before for some reason. Dude, Sierra One is just like, bye. Sierra Two is pinging my ass. Oh god, I got 23 minutes left on the stream. Jesus. Turbo Double Juliet. <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to give up on this mission. But it's a doozy, given the state of, state of technology here. Mm. It's like a wind back time, I'll go on... I, Shoot, Sierra 2 is second we got in the baffles close aboard there. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Lessons learned in blood. Something. <laughs> oh, seeker range 500 yards. Okay. We are well out of range of that thing. Not a problem. Not a problem. I think this passive is just going to sail on by Sierra 1 there. 
Sira too, I think, has uh, gotten a keen eye. I'm gonna ping. Con sonar, switching to active search. One knot faster. Oh god. <laughs> Hey, there you go. We got a solution. We got two solutions. Okay, Sierra One's coming this way. I can make marks. Yes. Con sonar switching the passive search. Can we pop above the layer and lose these dill holes? Depth one zero zero feet. Die by. Oh, it's sailing right on by. God damn. Kaboom. Was the Mark 37 the shiz, or was it just all they had? <laughs> I'm always curious how much submarines are expected to actually go sub on sub in time of war. As opposed to just going after like surface ships. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing zero six four. Con helm steady course. Okay, we're up here. We're quiet. Not enough for Sierra two to drop track on us. Oh god. Okay, well we got time lapse. Let's go angular here. Come right to speed zero, it up. Four, six. Helm I. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing one eight nine. Contact is in the baffles. Come right to zero seven zero. Helm I. Con helm steady course. Make turns four, seven, nine, I'm trying to just seven, like nine. let him come around without hearing me, but I guess he's still technically. Well, did he stop pinging? I don't know. I think he. I guess I'm still a solution on him. I don't know. It's not changing course. I don't know where my baffle line is at. I don't think he's anywhere near it, really. I'm trying to play the long game to get back in behind them, but oh gosh. This is a slog. <laughs> uh, I knew what I was signing up for, though. Oh, I have a, I have a spare cell phone. I can do this math. Okay, course 5-9, plus 180, plus 30, plus 269. Okay, 10 degrees out of my baffles.
on sonar, lost contact. Sierra, four, last bearing, two, zero, two. Contact is in the baffles. Fragsar, hello, long time no see. Mark 14 led to Mark 37, led to Mark 48. Yes, Mark 48 was like, okay, let's 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 do this. Do it right. I think Mark 27 may actually have been the precursor to Mark 37. But we're getting out of my element in terms of knowledge. What's my course? 37 plus 210. 247 is my baffles line now. Okay. Can I turn around and just like edge onto him and lose track? Let's try it. We're pretty far away. Let's go down to five knots. No. Pretty close, okay. Come right to. Keep going. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Whoa, whoa, what the f Make con sonar. No longer cavitating. What did I do? Why can he hear me all of a sudden? Uh, did I press the wrong con button? Helm. Steady course. Okay, it doesn't seem to care for some reason. Passing one hundred feet. I don't know what happened just then. <laughs> I guess he just kind of gained on me a little bit there. Make turns for seven knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh, this is a slog. Pizza when I should have French fried what? <laughs> I only know about the Mark 27 from seeing the uh, Torsk Museum in, in, in downtown Balmer. 16 plus 210, 226. Okay, we got seven more degrees on the baffles there. Ugh, this is such a slog. Fries on your pizza. I don't think I've ever done that. Is this good enough? Can I, like, just turn around now? I want to, like, want him to drop track, but that's not going to happen for a while here. Probably just not going to happen until I get into the baffles. I'm guessing he doesn't have a solution on me because he's not freaking following me. He's just derping at five knots in this direction. Make turn oh, because since he's not pinging, I guess, has he lost me since he's not pinging, even though I'm in the active range? Poutine with a side of marinara. I like poutine. Poutine's good. AKA disco fries if you're from New Jersey. Fries pizza is fairly popular. That sounds like an abomination in Italy. Fries pizza. What what flavor do fries bring to a pizza? I mean fries are good, but it's just like I feel like it needs to be a bolder flavor. Contact Sierra three last bearing zero three eight contact is in the baffles. I guess Sierra one's just bye. I think Sierra one's gone. We're just gonna try and get Sierra two. I think it's a children pizza scale up to grown up childs like me. <laughs> 
I thought like the standard pizza in Italy would just be like the margarita. Margarita. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Margarita. Why is that scene from Inglorious Bastards so damn funny? It's so frickin' hilarious. Uh, Dominic de Coco. <laughs> Grazie. <clears throat> Make depth one zero zero feet dive by. What's a, what's Worstel? Verstel? Worstel? Pizza Diva. Oh, November's speeding up. He dropped me. Drop track. Um, okay, let's get back down to you. Make depth two, zero, zero feet, dive by. It's gonna return to base course. Margarita. <laughs> oh, that's actually gets confusing. Margarita in that way is like a tequila drink. <laughs> the margarita pizza is actually spelled slightly differently, but Italian and Spanish are very similar. Wurstel, Verstel, it does sound like a sausage coming from Germany. Ping, ping pong, ping pang, bing bang. Uh, I want to catch up to this guy. Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering eye. Make depth three, five, zero feet, dive eye. Con, maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. Con, helm, steady course. The thing that goes in hot dogs. <laughs> Margarita pizza is really good. As long as it's like thin crust, that like Pizza Hut shit with like the inch thick dough can go F off. Is this just a lost God, cause? Making turns for one, zero, not. I don't want to choose, so I'll get the base model. Oh, it's like getting a cheese pizza in America? Okay. <laughs> I actually made back over on Christmas break. The girlfriend and I made a, a cast iron pizza. That was damn good. Made the dough from scratch and everything. Nothing like an Italian pizza, but it was still just damn good. A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. You gotta let the dough rest for like 12 hours. Margarita ideal to get the taste of a new pizzeria. That's yeah, that's a good point. It's the the simplest recipes, yeah, tend to show the uh the quality the best, huh? <clears throat> okay, this guy's zipping along at fifteen Eight knots. Turns. Why don't I have an intercept bubble? I guess I can't intercept at this speed. That's why it's not showing up. Oh yeah, New York Slice in America. Yeah, for sure. I do want to try 
pizza casserole from Chicago. <laughs> Didn't get a chance when I was there. Oh god, a year ago. Damn, it's been a year since I was in Chicago. Stop, bears! Didn't get a chance to try any uh, pizza casserole. Pizza casserole. <laughs> deep dish pizza. Chicago deep dish. It's like reverse pizza. It's like dough, cheese, sauce. It's... 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 It's weird. My, my dad's from New York, so I'm a New York pizza kind of guy from uh, osmosis or whatever you want to say, so... Chicago deep dish is weird to see. <laughs> but I am curious to try it. Because <clears throat> I am an all-inclusive pizza aficionado. As long as it tastes good, it's all that matters to me. Calzone? No, not a calzone. You should look it up. It's like, it's like this thick of a pizza. Chicago deep dish. <laughs> Spraz likes thick. <laughs> John Stewart, whatever you think of him, has an epic rant about deep dish pizza. It's just, it's hilarious. <laughs> <clears throat> This range opening or closing. I'm trying to figure out if I can like time lapse here safely. I'm trying to get this Sierra 2 dill hole. Can eat a near slice while the cops are chasing you. <laughs> Deep dish, yeah, it's made in like more of like a cake pan. And it's like, it's built reverse order too, which is weird. It's like dough, cheese, sauce. Sauce is on top. It's weird. Yeah, it's like a pie. That's a good way to put it. Like European. European pie. <laughs> Not American pie. American pie is a whole other thing. But there's no, there's no like crust euro pie <laughs> there's no there's no top crust come left to two zero six helm i make turns for one three knots maneuvering i Oh, I have to, I have to slow Make further on to get... One, he is pinging, I have to be cognizant of this. A fried calzone, sweet, sweet Jesus. I went to college at the University of Maryland and they used to have a place called DP Dough for those in the States. Uh, I think some places still have DP Dough, but the DP Dough in College Park, Maryland is no longer there, but they made calzones and they were open till like four in the morning. So it was just like after drinking, you just get a 800 calorie calzone before you go to bed. I always wanted to try it again after not being in college. It probably wouldn't hold up, but uh, deep fried those calzones. Holy shit. That's just adding a whole other layer to it. The cheese welts itself to the roof of your mouth. Not when, not when it's scalding hot cheese, and it's like, ah! Oh, deep fried calzone is a southern Italy thing. Okay. My ancestors would not appreciate that then. <laughs> My ancestors were northern Italians.
north and south don't love each other very much, yeah. Uh, a few people in my, my Italian side have done, like, those 23andMe gene things, and it's... Uh, our ancestry is actually, like, displaced Germanic people or something, not what is considered Italian, but I think those things are kind of weird because they kind of just base, like, where you're from off, like, the average of a certain region, so I guess what they consider Italian is, like, Rome area and like south, but in in respect to that, yeah, my ancestors are actually not considered genetically Italian, whatever that means. I mean, certainly culturally Italian, but just uh, interesting to learn about. <clears throat> Oh, getting through one calzone pie is a lot of work. I, oh, uh, Chicago pie, rather, is a lot of work, I bet. Cisalpine gall. Was that, sir? <laughs> Always the bummer of ordering a calzone at a restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> it's so hot. Yeah, just destroy your mouth. Well, 100% Italian Spraz's ancestors were Austrians because World War I. Oh, that's the Roman province in northern Italy. My ancestors were from a place called, uh... Hold on. Uh, oh, it's called, uh, Bieno. I'm probably, I'm probably butchering the hell out of that. Yeah, Bieno, it's like northwest of Venice, like halfway to the Austrian border, Austrian-Swiss border from, from Venice. My uncle went there a few years ago. <clears throat> Bino? <laughs> it's a gorgeous place. There's actually a uh, some kind of like, I don't know what to call it, like a little shrine like in the town that has like my great-grandmother's maiden name on it. It's just really cool to see all that stuff. have to get there someday. Alright, how are we doing with this frickin' November? Close to getting a ping hit. And this freaking quiet ass. This is the one time I've like remembering that eighty four the skipjack is like, oh it's so so noisy. Never mind. That's a I thought didn't make sense. <laughs> it's quiet, but uh yeah, these guys can ping me up for a while. I guess this is because the uh the the, the stock game Con, Helm, has this anechoic title distinguishing I think they they have the Soviet boats as having anechoic tiles at this point. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I can't wait to get to Italy. I was supposed to get to Italy in 2020. I think I've said that, but pandemic happened. <laughs> so that did not happen. That in Ireland. Gotta get to Ireland for both of the major ancestral backgrounds, but of course the, uh, be looking forward to the food more in, more in Italy than Ireland. <laughs> Goes without saying. Okay, this range has still been closing.
We have to be like at the inflection point now or something. It's got to be opening soon. <clears throat> Eat in Italy, drink in Ireland. Yeah, there you go. But Ireland would be nice in the summer. Oh, I'm sure. <clears throat> oh, God. Coming up on five years ago, I was in uh, Europe uh, during the summer. During the World Cup. That was actually really fun. But, uh, was in England around like the 4th of July, so like early July. The weather was just great for an American coming from DC, Washington, D.C., which gets like supremely hot in the summer compared to Europe. Uh, a lot of tours were canceled. There was like a heat wave going on. A heat wave. <laughs> and it was just like, oh, that's fun. This is just perfect weather. But for England, it was very hot. Oh my god, that cousin does have a lot of dough. Her golf stream? Not a rented golf stream, but her golf stream? Yeah, that clearance can be a bitch like that, huh? You can't really travel. <laughs> Do you have to have a clearance to be a submariner? I guess so. I guess I never thought about it. Yeah, that's a private plane. Not sure who builds them. Make turns for one, two knots. Maneuvering up. Make turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh god, we're six minutes over. I gotta wrap this up. This is taking forever. <laughs> this is like a dangerous waters mission. They are built by Gulfstream. <laughs> are we dealing with a Dracula here? Maybe maybe Tycho's just knows what I'm talking about with that. <laughs> the red letter media quote. <clears throat> Ah, we're in them baffles. Excellent. Wunderbar! Make turns for he exclaimed two, with great relish. Maneuvering eye. Am I gonna cavitate? Make depth four, five, zero feet, die by. No, I think we're good. Con maneuvering, making turns for two, zero, knots. Twenty knots, three one feet, cavitation free. Knights, we are weapons free. Box wine crowd. Hey, don't, don't be putting down the box wine unless it's Franzia. Then put down all the box wine. <laughs> Remember someone tried to say they, they pronounced Franzia Franzia to try and make it sound better. It's like, don't be, don't be trying to, don't try and church it up. Don't you mean Joe Dirt? Frickin' Franzia. This guy's just pinging. He's just like, we're pinging. Make turns for two. All right, let's six, catch up nine. to this schmuck. I want to get to like two thousand yards, dude. We're getting in close. AI derp. I. There's so little time to stream. This will change once I'm in Boston, because I'll be working from home. But GoldenEye was recently released on Nintendo Switch, which I own, and I want to stream some GoldenEye. But maybe I can get to that somewhat soon. I'm gonna stream some freaking Goldeneye, dude. N64 classic right there. Come right to two seven six Helm I. Con. 
on Elm. <laughs> Started stock derivatives. I know the word. I don't know what it means in practice. I know what a calculus derivative is. Betting on horses. That I mean, that's yeah, a lot of the the stock market. A lot of most things are like, eh, I think this will make money. Some guesses are better than others, perhaps. Rich the gens. <laughs> Stock market has been very volatile lately. So, freaking, I guess it seems like there. All signs seem to indicate there should be some relief in housing prices soon. Relief is perhaps a a biased term from my perspective, but there may be some kind of like housing price crash coming soon. I don't know. It's for economists to answer. I can tell you about Three Mile Island and Chernobyl. Oh, speaking of all that, yeah, frickin' uh, Vogel in Georgia, they just, the first new nuclear power, new nuclear reactor in the U.S. just went critical this past week, which is awesome. I hope it's a, uh, hope it's a red letter day. I hope it's a sign of, of more things to come. <clears throat> Scored a crit. <laughs> crit rockets. Where the heck are SMRs? They're coming. SMR spent fuel of the uh, graphite type, and it's uh, it may be a bigger challenge than they had initially anticipated. I think uh, small BWS. I think water water reactors. I think are here to stay. Italy banned all nuclear. Wasn't I? I, th I think I thought I saw like some news that they're trying to uh, go back on that. But I th I don't think SMRs are going to be the boon that people thought they were. I think they have specific ni niches in like uh, industrial heating type applications, but I think the answer really still is very large. Me very large gigawatt electric reactors. Most of the, a lot of the SMRs I've been seeing are trying to do exotic stuff like a uh, high temperature gas cooled reactor with like graphite moderator or molten salt stuff. But uh, I think the first one that's really gotten a lot of uh, Authorization has been GE's EBWR, which is their like uh, BWR SMR. Sorry for all the lingo. Boiling water reactor, small modular reactor. Well, yes, but not in my town, and that's that. <laughs> Eastern Europe is uh, getting a lot of reactors. That I know. They're going all in on reactors. I think Slovakia is projected to become the uh, the highest percentage of nuclear power. With all the deals they've been making. Now, what did Tychosis say? The chat went crazy. Having a job where you have to watch the stock markets is too much stress. Just put my money in retirement funds, check it out right now and then to make sure it's still there. 
That's, I mean, yeah, 99.9% .9 of people, yeah, just put it in some retirement geared fund. That's... You don't start worrying about, like, stocks, I think, until you, like, price yourself out of, like, 401k minimum contributions. Which is, like, the, uh... That's just what, like, the, the major, like, American retirement investment account is called. For those who aren't from America. Chernobyl panic, Fukushima panic. There seems to be a trend of reactor panic. <laughs> Looking at you, Germany. Isn't a Western company making the hexagonal rods for VVERs? Somehow Westinghouse got that design. Yes, Westinghouse has had that design for a while. Yeah, all these new, like, Eastern European reactors are pretty much all Westinghouse designs, and then they're make Westinghouse is making all the Russian reactor fuel. <clears throat> Which is the the VVER is the Russian PWR. It's this, it's a PWR. It's the same thing, just a different name. Come right to two nine four helm. I the steam generator is sideways. That's like one little difference. Like yeah, it's a PWR. Con helm steady course. I don't know what a sideways steam generator gets you. Yeah, Ukraine made some huge deals for Westinghouse reactors. I think Poland made deals for Westinghouse reactors. Yeah, Westing Westinghouse is doing very good. They, their low point was like six, five years ago when they went bankrupt. They are coming back big. U.S. needs some new Westinghouse reactors. The new reactors at Plant Vogel are Westinghouse reactors. It's their newest uh, PWR design. The AP-1000. Gen 3 plus 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 as I like to call it. <laughs> None of those blue. Which reactors surprised? Which reactors didn't blow? <laughs> yes, okay, so South Korea was trying to sell, like, their licensed version of an AP-1000 to Poland, and Westinghouse got upset. All kinds of business mumbo-jumbo, whatever. French reactors at your borders didn't blow up. They did not. I don't think the French have ever... I, I don't know for sure, but I don't know if the French have ever had, like, a major nuclear accident. At least that I'm aware of. KEPCO? Oh, is that a Korean thing? Okay, we're closing in on Sierra Dose. Can't see him just yet. Well, whatever that means, being able to see him. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, any second now. 2,000 yards here. Okay, this is good enough. Let's, uh, let's shoot. Oh, that was a little premature. Could have lost that wire. Did not. In the control room. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh my god, it happened again. Uh, f 
flying in the control room like you would know. That's a good point. <clears throat> um... I'm going through with this, aren't I? The 68 campaign. Oh. This bullshit swim out frickin' torps. I'm playing with the penny, sorry. Got a penny. I guess we'll be starting this over next time. Or I guess we could pop into another boat. Abandoned ship. Sunk myself. The noose tightens. Oh my god. Cliffs of Dover. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it crashed. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're restarting next time. <laughs> Kepco's APR 1400 PWR also used the designs from the long dead combustion engineering. Westinghouse bought combustion engineering some time ago. Or at least they own the designs for it. Probably why the lawsuit. Oh, okay. That would, that'll do it. Those are very old fuel designs, though. It's like, uh, compared to what modern designs look like. Older designs, for sure. Big rods, thick cladding, big, big guide tubes. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll stop there. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess we gotta slow, we gotta slow down big time if we're launching torps. Let's swim out, torp. I guess we gotta be beneath, like, seven, I thought I was beneath 17 knots for that second torp launch. But then I saw it go right right back into me. Even though I guess the torp shouldn't have even been armed yet. Should have just like scraped along the hole. Good stuff. <laughs> this is gonna be a this is gonna be a long haul campaign. It's gonna be brutal. Anyway. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting.